Hello there and welcome to a new video. In this one, we're going to be discussing a topic uh, focus on the Red Dot. So basically, Red Dot is a fork of the Go Dot engine that has been released just some days ago. And basically, this means that it is basically a copy of Go Dot, but that is going to be managed uh, by other team, okay? Of course, non-official Godot team, just the community and some volunteers. So basically what happened when they firstly released the engines just some days ago is the fact that it was the exact same engine as Godot, just that they had a different team, a different theme, sorry, uh, basically a red theme, and just a super, super tiny new features. So some people were basically saying that this was just a, a, a scam, a, a copy of Godot and nothing else. So I actually want to discuss this. I don't want to just tell you my view. I just want to tell you the facts uh, and from there you can build your own opinion. Because what happened is that the official um, channel of Red Dot commented on one of my last videos, basically announcing that Red Dot was finally uh, available. And so see this is the official channel of Red Dot. And we actually got a lot of uh, support from uh, the community on this uh, on this channel. So I just want to point out some official information from them and some uh, facts officially from them. Because I also had, got here a lot of comments saying that, well, uh, Red Dot is just a copy, it's a scam, it doesn't change anything. For example, here someone, well, saying, well, which is the difference then? And well, lots of people here uh, debating and, and whatever. Some people that will say that basically Red Dot is something that doesn't make any sense just because of a Twitter post that it is just a, a red go dot. But well, actually others interested in how this this was going to be evolving. Um, some people maybe looking forward to even contribute to the project. People thinking that uh, it will potential, potentially become an amazing engine and so on and so back. Uh, so basically there are people for and against this idea of Red Dot. Um, because maybe some people w couldn't understand the main difference of Red Dot or they couldn't see the points of like creating this fork with not so many new features. So basically what they are saying here is that the main aim of the project is um, to have a community focused on making games and nothing else. Not focused on politics, not on making controversial Twitter posts or whatever, just completely on making games. And also something else that they are saying is that Godot used to be a heavily community driven, that basically everything was done uh, by volunteers, but now it is corporate driven. So basically the, there are people behind um, that are being paid uh, to build some stuff for corporations uh, using the engine internally um, and while they are still taking the community's money, okay? Um, so to avoid any of this, they just want to make a uh, Red Dot completely community driven with no company behind, with no these kinds of projects in the back. So everything is completely like transparent. And they also accept the idea that, yes, until now it is just a red go dot, but well, then in the future they're going to be adding their own features asked by the community. And any error that you may find in this version of Red Dot is because they also exist in Go Dot 4.4 uh, Dev 3, I think that is the latest one, because it is actually just a fork of that version. But well, that they are preparing uh, to launch a, a stable build for Red Dot uh, soon, okay? So we don't really know how soon. And also there were some people uh, cheering uh, on this post and just asking for some things that uh, supposedly the Godot Foundation wasn't taken into account and that they are hoping that now in Red Dot in this new project, well, uh, that probably they are going to fix or implement. And also, for example, a guy over here asked if a feature is developed on Godot, will it be possible to have it on Red Dot? And here will other user explain that they actually want to keep the parity uh, as much as they can, of course. And it can also be the other way about that basically Red Dot implements something and Godot takes it right away because everything is open source. Also, some people asking about if they are going to be able to use the exact same Godot tutorials but apply to Red Dot and well, until now, yes, you are able since both engines are the exact same stuff. So in 99.9% .9 of cases, you are going to be able to use the exact same tutorials. And also some people, um, this statement that the official Red Dot channel made, uh, for example, this guy here of proving this. So uh, to be honest, I don't really have here an idea if this is true or false, what Red Dot said. Um, 
But well, uh, they know that right now they are on their peak. So probably they wouldn't say stuff that they are not 100% sure. So if any of you know anything about this thing that Reddit is saying here and you want to uh, tell me some information that I could uh, consider for a future video or to pin here on this exact same video, that would be amazing. Ah, uh, well, uh, this wasn't the only guy that said that. Here is also other uh, pretty similar comments saying um, about any kind of factual basis. Um, so coming back to the initial question, is a uh, Red Dot um, a scam? Is Red Dot just something that uh, is just a, a, a red go dot as a lot of people is saying? I uh, well, until now, yes, a Red Dot is just a red go dot, but with the difference that uh, it is under a different team, if you want to call it like this, because, well, like Red Dot doesn't have an established team behind, uh, because, well, it is a super new project, so they are still uh, discussing with some volunteers and, and whatever. Um, so, indeed, it is the exact same piece of software with a different logo, a different theme, a different color in the UI. Just, I think, that one main new feature of uh, setting up the horizon color in the 3D environment, but, well, that isn't, like, a lot. But also at the same time, it is something super understandable due to the fact that Red Dot started like one week, two, three weeks ago. Um, so of course, with having both a small team and a super short uh, amount of time, what else can you expect? So if I think that the, the main point of Red Dot is the fact that it will be, let's say, 100% community driven and that they are going to at least try to follow completely the community suggestions and the community PRs uh, and the community bug fixes that they want to have fixed. So they wanted to make it like more as an actual community with no politics, with no religion, with no anything in the middle. So of course the future is completely uncertain. We don't know what is going to be happening because also something that is, that is quite uh, discussed about Reddit is the fact that they have no founding behind, no established uh, team behind. Um, so well, how are they going to be able to deal with all these these things? We just have to wait and see how everything goes. But what I can tell you, and you can also check it, is the huge um, number of people that are supporting this project. They have over 20k followers in a matter of uh, just some weeks. And also they have a lot of people on their uh, Discord server. So let me just check how I could see the number of people here. Over here, they have over 10k members, so it is a lot. And also here, they have a frequently asked question um, with lots of things that could be interesting for you. So for example, here, uh, are there any plans to make Red Dot better than Godot? For example, they are just want to take a look at the PRs that have been there in Godot uh, GitHub for a long time, and they want to just uh, put those things. They are not a direct competitor to go to, they just want to build a better community. And also uh, more and more things as well, we don't really have that time to go over everything. Just the fact that I wanted to mention you, the, the amount of support that they are having is just huge, okay? Um, so well, they, they probably have still, a, let's say, a substantial amount of developers, a substantial team behind. Um, but well, we will still be able to, how they are going to be able to cope with a fewer number of people working behind, literally no money behind. Um, so anyway, we will see how everything evolves. So anyway, we will see how everything goes. As usual, I am always uploading new content about Godot, well, actually uh, about Red Dot and all this drama. Um, so if you want to be the first one on knowing the latest news about this topic, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will see you in the next one and bye bye.